All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that variety nerd, and as the title of the video says, we are entering into series number three of Universe Mode. And so we are all gathered here today to figure out, oh, well, Christina, who's going to be on the Raw and SmackDown rosters? Well, we're going to do something just, just a little bit different to kind of, well, shake things up a tad bit. We're going to let a random spinning wheel determine the rosters. So we're going to just dive right into it. This is going to be madness. This is going to be an unmitigated disaster, probably. And that's how we're going to decide our titles and all that good stuff. So on that note, again, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and also leave a comment down below. And whoever we don't use on the rosters, they'll ha they'll be in reserve, you know, break the glass in case of emergency type of situation, that sort of thing. So on that note, let's just dive right into it. Grab your choice of beverage, grab your snacks. It's cold here in Ohio, so what, what else am I going to really do? <laughs> it's, it's the winter time. It's too cold to go anywhere. So there you have it. Let's just dive into it. So I pieced out who is still on the active roster according to Wikipedia. And so that is how we got all of these 117 entries here on the spinning wheel. So we're going to follow by real life rules with the Raw and SmackDown drafts. So Raw gets two picks. SmackDown gets one because the one did you know, the two hour to three hour ratio, whatever it is. So that's what we're doing. So it'll basically turn out to be, I guess, like three to two picks at a time. Raw is going to have a slightly larger roster for fairly obvious reasons. Same thing with SmackDown. It should end up being Raw 30 to SmackDown 20. And we are playing through with SmackDown to complete the unholy WWE 2K20 Universe Mode trilogy. So that's how things are going. So that being said... If we get to like halfway through this and we haven't drafted any women or anything like that, we've got a separate Word document down below <laughs> that just have all the women listed and we can pull the women from that list. So without further ado, let's see who our number one draft pick is going to be. So we're going to start things off with Raw. They get their first pick. So we are entering into the first round. Let's see who Raw gets. I probably should have pressed the shuffle button. We'll do that after this first pick. Who will Monday Night Raw get first? Who's the number one draft pick? Oh my god. <laughs> this is this is beautiful already. Ali has been drafted number one to Monday Night Raw. This is beautiful. Alright, so as you can see, I forgot to press the shuffle button, so I'm pressing it five times because, you know, Booker T rule. So, who will be the number one draft pick for SmackDown? Let's let's just find out. This should be interesting. Ali was number one over on Raw. We're going to find out who is number one over on SmackDown. Oh, that is quite interesting. My apologies that y'all can't see this. There are literally a hundred names on this wheel. Tony Storm is our number one draft pick for SmackDown. All right, let's see who's going to go next here for Monday Night Raw. Who will be draft pick number two? Let's find out, shall we? Who is that? Oh, Xavier Woods. So it looks like the New Day is going over to Raw. That's big. So with the tag teams, if it's in the case of Xavier Woods here, the tag teams that go over, we're using the tag teams from the game itself because there's like no tag teams these days over in good old WWE land. So that's how we're maneuvering things. So, Raw gets not one, not two, but three picks. Let's see who the number two pick will be for SmackDown Live. If you're wondering why there are asterisks in there, it's all of the spreadsheet based on IRL. Oh man, this is something else. Well, 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 look who has returned for Series 3 of Universe Mode. Looks like we're getting Mustache Mountain over on SmackDown Live. And Raw gets the last pick here in the first round of the good old draft. Let's see who they will be getting. I know I need to delete some names, but it's fine. Oh, Raw gets Matt Riddle. Very interesting. This is not as much of an unmitigated disaster as I thought this was going to be. Yet. And don't worry, if you're wondering about who went in which round, that's all going to be in the description down below. So I've got you. And with timestamps because timestamps are good. Timestamps are life. All right, so we're going into round two of the random wheel generator thing once we clean this up just a little bit. All right, so we are going into round number two. That is correct. Round number two, 
We'll be kicking things off again with Raw. They get three picks to SmackDown's two picks. So this should be quite interesting. We've already had two tag teams like off the board already. So who knows where things are going. Oh, Raw's got Ronda Rousey. Oh boy. All right, and the first pick of round two for SmackDown goes to none other than... Oh, this is quite interesting. Sonia Deville, I believe. That's what it looks like. Again, it's freaking tiny, but I like the confetti. Sonia Deville. And so I believe Sonia and Mandy are technically a tag team. So we're getting both Sonia and Mandy over to SmackDown. So that's quite pleasant. All right, let's see who the next pick for Raw is going to be. We're going to find out in just a second here. What's up with all the tag teams going early on? Like, I mean, now you're just going to throw off the numbers, technically. But it looks like the Viking Raiders will be going to Monday Night Raw. All right, let's see who the next pick is for SmackDown. We're about to find out in just a moment here. This is very interesting, to say the least. Oh, snap. Robert Roode is going over to SmackDown. This is quite interesting. <laughs> Look at how many freaking mustaches we're going to have over on Raw. I mean, over on SmackDown. I'm still thinking Raw because of, you know, Series 2. Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right. And the final pick for round number two for Monday Night Raw goes to none other than... Oh, what is up with the tag teams all going? Like, this thing is obsessed with the tag teams because they just went with Billy Kay, which means that Peyton Royce is also off the board as well because the Iconics are going over to Raw. All right, round number three is starting off with Raw's first pick. Let's see who gets drafted over to Raw next. This is shaping up to be quite the interesting universe mode, to say the least. And it looks like Tamina, I think? It, again, it's hard to tell. Okay, there we go. Tamina's off the grid. This is something else. Let's see who SmackDown gets next. Here in round number three. Are we just get, like are we just getting like a mainly women's roster? Because I'm sort of low-key here for it at the same time. But Mickey James is going over to the blue This is quite we've got we've got a solid start in our women's division, people. We really do. Alright, next up for Monday Night Raw for their second of third pick here in round number three. Let's see who they land on here. Oh, and Pete Dunn goes over to Raw. All right, and the last pick for SmackDown Live in round number three goes to... Good old Lars Sullivan. And Raw gets the final pick here in round number three here in the draft. And it goes to none other than good old Sheamus. Which means technically Cesaro goes over there because they're the bar in the... What's up with all the freaking tag teams going right off the bat? Like, I'm like, oh, we're only gonna have like 20 people on the roster. And it's like twice that, apparently. All right, here we go. We are into round number four. And Raw gets the first pick because they get three picks to SmackDown's two picks. And Raw has selected the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. What a stacked women's division they're getting over there. And the next pick for SmackDown Live is going to be Baskin is Glory. Keith Lee is showing up to SmackDown. All right, next pick for Raw is about to get underway here. Let's see who Raw selects next here on Universe Mode. And Raw will be re will be getting Velveteen Dream. And the final selection for round number four of SmackDown Live is going to be none other than... I believe that is Jeff Hardy. And closing out round number four for Raw, Raw selects none other than... It's on a line. No, it's not. Just kidding. Chad Gable! All right, people, we are almost halfway through the draft. We have pick number 13 coming up for Raw, their first of three in this round, and oh man, Monday Night Raw just went with the Undisputed Era. Oh my god. Oh man, SmackDown's gonna have to do something big for pick number nine, that much I will say. And we've got Lada showed up to SmackDown Live. But man, Raw is really eating into those tag teams. Let's see who they pick next. 
This should be interesting. Oh my god, another flipping to- uh, Is Ron just gonna have the- We're just gonna have to have like a freaking cruiserweight division at this point or something. <laughs> They've just gotten the street profits. Jesus, take the wheel. I really need to shut up at this rate about this whole tag team situation that we're embarking on right now. <laughs> We've got Mojo Raleigh coming over to SmackDown Live. This this is beautiful. And closing out the halfway point of the WWE2K20 Universe Mode draft goes to Dolph Ziggler. All right, people, we are halfway through the draft. Raw gets the next selection. I believe this is pick number 16. They've eaten through all the freaking tag teams, and it's in a freaking line. How am I supposed to tell? Might be Gulak. They just got freaking Lucha House Party! I just, I'm gonna shut up now. I'm gonna let it do its thing. I, I, I don't know, people. I don't know where this is going. But what I do know is that SmackDown is up next with their 11th pick out of 20 here in the draft. That sort of thing. Let's see who they go with next. And I realize I need to fine-tune everything. But Dana Brooke is making her way over to the blue brand. Alright, up next for the red brand. Let's see who Monday Night Raw selects next. Raw's getting everybody! I'm, I'm utterly convinced of it. Raw is literally just getting everybody. They've just gotten The Fiend. Alright, let's see who the next pick is for SmackDown Live here in the sixth round of the draft. I'm, I'm interested. There's still a lot of big names on this list here. Alright, we finally got another tag team! <laughs> we've got two Tylers once again here on Universe Mode. We've got Breezango and we've got Mustache Mountain as like our only tag teams over here. Well, Raw's got like 20 tag. I, I don't know how this has happened. But I'm here for it. Because, I mean, at least on their own, like, Breeze and Fandango could, you know, hold the mid-card, possibly, if needed. Y'all, we're at the rate we're going, we're just straight up just not gonna have a tag team division or something. <laughs> like, does anybody else remember when, like, Fandangoing was a thing, like, six or seven years ago? That was a good time. I swear to God. I think that landed on Ruby Riot. It looks like it. Yes, so the Riot Squad is going over to Monday Night Raw. Alright, we are entering into round number 7 out of 10 total rounds here on our wonderful Universe Mode Draft. Who will Raw get? Raw gets Elias. Alright, SmackDown's at lucky number 13. Will it be lucky? Will it be unlucky? We're not so sure yet. But... We will be getting Jackson Riker. All right, well, apparently, when we got Jackson Riker, he just straight up just didn't want to go to SmackDown. So, nonetheless, it looks like... Again, it's right there. What the crap, man? The Usos are coming over to SmackDown Live. Okay, now we've got a bit of a tag team division situation going on. This is quite interesting. All right, so I guess since Jackson Riker went with Elias, apparently, which is why there was a mix-up right there... The board of directors has issued that SmackDown Live gets one extra pick in this round. So Raw has selected Ember Moon to go over. Their women's division stacked. Jeez, oh man. All right, who will be the next selection for SmackDown Live? We will find out in just a moment here. Oh, this is something else. We are getting Paige. And the final pick for Raw in round number seven goes to... Oh, I forgot to erase Fandango off. It's fine. Baron Corbin's going over to Raw. And here we go. SmackDown once again gets a bonus pick due to Jackson Riker becoming Elias' manager. So that's nice. But it looks like... Oh, man. This is gonna... This is interesting. This is interesting. Johnny Gargano heads over to SmackDown Live. All right, people, we are beginning round number eight of the draft. And it's getting quite interesting, to say the least. Who will Raw select next? No way. The Queen Charlotte Flair will be heading over to Monday Night Raw. All right, the next pickup for SmackDown Live for round number eight. That will be none other than... 
Oh, this is interesting. Shelton Benjamin making his way over to the Blueberry. We almost got John Cena, which would have been hilarious. All right, people. Who's going to be up next for Team Raw? We're going to find out in just a moment here. Oh, Kyrie Sane's going over there. Jeez, oh man, there's so many people on the women's division on both shows. <laughs> but Kyrie Zane will be making her way across the sea to Raw. And the last pick for round number eight for SmackDown Live will be none other than... Buddy Murphy! We're getting a pretty decent mid-card picture that I'm starting to envision here. I'm, I'm all for it. And last but not least for round number eight... Oh god, did I just... I can't tell if I just spat or spilled... No, I definitely spilled my hot chalk a little bit. Oh, no way. Monday Night Raw just got Shayna Baszler. Jeez, oh man, their women's division is freaking stacked. It's like Monday Night Raw's just gonna have, like, the women's division and tag teams. <laughs> I'm kind of here for that energy. Meanwhile, we're just having an identity crisis with, like, a crap ton of mustaches. All right, people, round number nine here in the draft. This is going to be certainly something else. To behold, Raw's next pick is none other than Cedric Alexander. All right, let's see what we got here. We've got our first pick here in round number nine for SmackDown Live. We're about to see who is going to be next up on the roster. Oh, poop, I forgot to remove her, too. <laughs> oh. That's nice, I misspelled Tony Nese. Like, look, look at me finding all these typos. But Tony Nese! This mid-card picture is going to be very interesting, to say the least. I'm, I'm all for it. I think when I was typing it out originally, like, I just started just going to bed or something. I was just getting tired, but let's see who's Raw's next pick is. Oh my god, the big show! <laughs> what is going on with these rosters? They're just getting off the walls here. But Monday Night Raw has selected big show. All right, let's see what we got here for our last pick in round number nine for SmackDown Live. Let's see who they select next. All right, well, we've got some shred of a tag team division because in 2K20, Otis and Tucker are still a team, but they never should have split them up. I I'm still mad about that. But it looks like Heavy Machinery will be making their way to the blue brand. The blue collar boys are making their way to the blue brand. I find that very fitting. And the last pick for round number nine for Monday Night Raw will be none other than The Miz. The Miz makes his way over to Monday Night Raw. And we are finally at the last round of the Season 3 Universe Mode draft here in WWE 2K20. Who is the next pick going to be for Team Raw? None other than EO Shira Did they just take like the entire women's division and tag team divisions? Because I'm convinced that's the case. All right, let's see who the second-to-last pick will be for the blue brand. Who will it be? Who will it be? Speaking of the women's division, Bianca Belair makes her way over to SmackDown. Should be quite an interesting women's picture, to say the least. All right, the next pick for Raw will be going to... Let's see who Raw selects next. I'm convinced this isn't necessarily random because it keeps going in the same spot. I, I, I see y'all. Sasha Banks. <laughs> All right, SmackDown Live's last pick is none other than good old Bo Dallas. But wait, hang on. Technically, he's in a tag team with Curtis Axel. But Curtis Axel IRL is no longer on the roster. You know what? SmackDown's just gonna get an extra pick in this case because of shenanigans unfolding. So there is there is that. So SmackDown Live by the board of directors. They they have allowed one more pick for SmackDown as well. So they they have issued a redo and they've also added in an extra pick. So that's nice. Probably for pain and suffering. I don't know. But Randy Orton is going to SmackDown Live. This this is interesting. All right, and we're going to find out who the last pick for last... for the last... yeah, the last round, last pick for Raw goes to Shinsuke Nakamura going over to the red brand. And then the final pick of the main draft for SmackDown Live, because I got a bonus one because of the board director situation, 
everybody's favorite, Nia Jax, has made her way over to the blue brand. All right, so we've made it to the end of the first rounds of the draft. So I did some number crunching. Raw has 44 superstars to SmackDown's 27. And so, because, you know, this is how it usually goes with IRL drafts for, you know, WWE and stuff like that, each side is going to get not one, not two, not three, not four, but five supplemental picks. So we're going to shuffle this thing accordingly five times. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like it kind of did it six times technically, but it's fine. And so we're going to have five more people get drafted to each side. So that's nice. So each team is going to get, each each brand is going to get five more picks. These are the supplemental picks. And there's still a lot of big names left on the board. So we're going to see how this is going to unfold. So technically, this is like the bonus round, but this is really the supplemental draft. So let's see who Raw is going to get first. And Raw gets Daniel Bryan. Let's see who SmackDown Live's first supplemental pick will be here in the draft. Raw's got Daniel Bryan, so I don't know what they're going to get next, to be completely honest. Lacey Evans is making her way over to the blue brand. That's quite interesting. I feel like we need to remove Maurice because she's probably going to just, you know, she's the business manager. Let's see who the next pick is for Raw. Let's see who the next supplemental pick will be for Raw, and it is none other than... Roman Reigns. Very interesting stuff right there. I feel like Raw's roster is sort of like the roster that y'all are probably like screaming at me to have. But let's see who the next person will be on Team SmackDown. Oh man, John Cena. John Cena is coming to SmackDown Live. I don't think we've had John Cena in either one of our Universe Mode series. Let's see who Raw gets next, and Raw gets AJ Styles. Man, Raw's taking, like, everybody, but you know what? We got John Cena. I don't think we're gonna be- we're not- we're not doing too bad. All right, let's see who the third supplemental draft pick will be for SmackDown, and it is none other than... Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, this is getting even more interesting. All right, let's take a look and see who the next addition to the Raw roster is going to be in the fourth supplemental draft pick, and it will be none other than Mia Yim. Now I can actually see everybody's names on this freaking thing right. All right, we've got our fourth supplemental pick for SmackDown, and again, I pressed the shuffle button like four or five times. And Noam Dar is coming over to SmackDown Live. Very charismatic dude. All right, let's see who the very last pick will be for Raw on the supplemental draft. It is our truth And the last pick of the WWE 2K20 draft will be none other than... Candice LeRae. We've got Gargano and LeRae running wild over on SmackDown Live. This could get interesting. And to throw a wrench into everything... To make things a little bit more nougaty. Everybody that's left here on the table. On this delightful list. They're moving to NXT. That is correct. NXT, we will have a third brand to watch out for throughout the series. And that also means that, you know, they can drop off of NXT. And they can pop up on Raw or SmackDown at any time as well. That sort of thing. And, you know, we've got a lot of these big names still left here on the docket, which I find very rich and interesting, but because they're all big names, my logic is, you know what, let's just throw them all over on NXT. So, that being said, I don't know how this exactly is going to work out, what titles we're going to have just yet, but rest assured, we're going to have one heck of a universe mode. And by the way, NXT will be involved with like a superstar shakeup and trades and all that stuff. But we will indeed have a superstar shakeup at some point. We usually tend to do it right after SummerSlam, and so we can shuffle things around if needed. If you have any requests, for, you know, people that you would like to see on the roster, maybe some cause or anything like that. Keep in mind, I do have Xbox for right now because all the gaming consoles are backed up as crap. That being said, uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be a very interesting universe mode, and it's something that I don't know if any of us anticipated or expected or anything like that. 
But I'm excited as crap just to see where this is all going to go. So on that note, thank you all so much for tuning in. Leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, and let me know what you think about these rosters in particular. So the people that are left right here on this wheel, they're on NXT. So we've got a third brand to watch out for this time around. I think this is the first time that we've had three brands on the universe mode as well. So lots of firsts here with this wonderful draft. If we wanted to do something a little bit different, and we're doing something a little bit different. So on that note, get hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you all around later. Bye, everyone.